Hey, John Castro here. Fairfax Virginia's top personal trainer and owner of Action Fitness Women's Only Fitness Center. What I want to share with you today is how to make a simple fat loss plan in four simple steps. So a lot of times ladies I meet with try to jump into a program and don't really know, you know, what the, the ultimate goal is. They know they want to lose some weight or, you know, they're, they're, they're caught up on the features and benefits of the gym. But realistically, there's somewhere you start before you even worry about where you're working out or what program you're going to get into. And that number one thing is always going to be the goal, right? What do we want to get from whatever we're doing? Now, this can be maximal strength. This can be fat loss. This can be performance. It varies person to person, right? But for example, you probably won't want to spend your time doing Zumba if your goal was fat loss because that's one of the most inefficient ways to do it. And at the same time, you probably wouldn't want to be lifting heavy weights only if you wanted to perform well in a 10K or a half marathon. So figure out what the goal is and be specific with it, right? In addition to that, attach a why. Because a lot of times we know we want to lose some weight, for example, but there's, we don't have enough pain in our mind to really motivate us to, to stay on track and focus, right? The, the, the pleasure that we get from you know, snacking and, and uh, cheating on our diet it typically uh, is not only the reason why we fail in that sense short term, but also is, uh, you know, it doesn't reinforce the goal as much. The second thing you wanna do after you define exactly what you want to achieve is to figure out your time allotted or time available because some things are gonna take more time to train for than others. If your goal is fat loss, we'll just use this as an example again, you can do that as little as three hours, assuming your diet's great, right? But if you have more time, you can allocate that time in different ways, right? It's all about being efficient though. So for example, I would, if, I, if my goal was to lose 10 pounds in the next five weeks, I would probably, if, assuming my diet was right on point with my goal here, right? I would spend probably three hours, maybe four, doing strength resistance-based training and then I do metabolic training or high intensity training for probably two to three hours. And then I maybe add in a distance run or two for recovery and just to add a caloric burn, right? But I wouldn't start by going out on five mile runs to get to that goal.